lot of juice. A lot of juice. Four different states, that's a lot of troops. A lot of troops. Money coming in off the alley hoops. We split it four different ways, that's what family that's do. What family do. We hear them throwing shots, but they ain't prepared to shoot. We was raised in the game, every day we hoop. And I ain't talking controllers, homie. Even the cages in the hood couldn't hold us, homie. Animal. The left trigger got them focused on the send off. Soon as they trigger the right button, then we pick them off. Never been a worker, always ordered the block. Ordered the I ain't block. seen, I ain't heard, we avoided the cops. avoided the cops. Kept a white girl, never short at the shop. Real. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, NextGen720, and I am back with a, another video. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. I have a slew of videos planned for you guys. I'm going to just do one today, and I'm going to get back on Twitch. I'm so addicted to Roll Company. This is next gen. You got to try that fall guy. Balls! Jesus! I'm going to play it. You know what I mean? But anyway, getting right into today's videos, uh, there's no secret that Microsoft is, I say, I guess the word, uh, the best worst kept secret that Microsoft is releasing the Xbox Series S. Not to be confused with the Xbox Series X. Now, according to the leaks and rumors, uh, uh, let me just let me show my screen with you guys here. According to the leaks and rumors, uh, from you know, about this, let me make this a little bigger, uh, that the Xbox Series X is going to be. Uh, for a T flop uh, console, right? If you don't know, they discontinued the making the production of the Xbox One X and the Xbox One S and all digital. Uh, why would they stop, you know, production? And people said, no, it just fell. It's the Xbox in last place, absolutely. But this console right here, um, even though it's four T flops and the Xbox One X is six T flops, the Xbox One X is using very dated hardware. GCN and prime example with the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X they're using and same as the PlayStation 5 they're using RDNA 2.0 you know what I mean so basically I'm trying to say you in, in, in layman's term and also too uh, the Xbox One X and One S and all that stuff Ray dated hardware maybe 2011 we're talking about them Jaguar cores and people are just going by this number here the, the floor T flops this Xbox Series X will dance circles around the Xbox One X. So, for business-wise, it really doesn't make any sense for them to still leave the Xbox One X or the One S on the market when you're having a much cheaper consoles coming in, how you say, an entry level. Uh, but it's just, just glancing over, over the specs here. Um, 10 gig of RAMs. Uh, it be able to achieve 1440p, um, 60 frames. That's most important, 60 frames, 10 gigabytes of um, GDDR6, much faster CPU, much faster RAM than what's in the Xbox One X, and more current, like, uh, up-to-date hardware, right? So, I didn't hear prices as low as $200, $250. Uh, I, I've been saying $250, $300, and, and again, I, I would love to see how games look on this console, because if, if you don't know, resolution doesn't give you better graphics. All resolution does, does is give you a sharper image. It's the textures and the shaders and stuff, you know, which gives you the graphics. Resolution, this gives you a sharper image. And to be honest with you, most people, such as myself, I can't tell the difference between a native 1080p or upscale 1080p or a native 4K or a dynamic 4K. But we all can tell the difference between graphics. But hear me out. So, last week or the week before, before last, um... People were getting their hands on the Xbox Series S all-white controller. You know what I mean? Uh, I think it was a Target somewhere. No, either Target or Best Buy in Chicago. A couple people got their hands on it. And the difference between the two controllers. Um, here I have a... I love the Xbox uh, Elite 2. So I play on. Um, they... Ha has a share button. You know, like, you know, the place that you can share your stuff straight to the social media. Other than everything's the same. I use the Elite controllers. I don't even play with uh, regular controllers. So I just prefer them. But people were able to buy them, right? So yesterday, again, Target may have slipped up. It says, says U.S. retailer lists the Xbox One S version 2. Target reported listed the updated current-gen console following in action of various models. Right now, like I said, they're clearing shelves, but they're getting rid of all the old stocks. You know what I mean? Um, U.S. retail Target has reportedly listed an updated version of Microsoft's 
current Xbox One S console and is coming in at three hundred dollars. Hmm. That could be a sweet spot for them. I'm not going to lie. Most console gamers, I say the casuals, normally don't buy a next generation console until they come down to about $300. And again, um, it's, they st- they, well, according to these leaked specs, it's going to be a 1440p machine. Now, I would love to see what games look like running on it. Now, I know that graphically, visually, there's a difference between the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X, or even the PS4 Pro, and the PS4 Slim. But you know what Sony's number one Slim console is? It's the PS4 Slim, and Microsoft is the Xbox One S, when they were still making it, you know what I mean? At $300. Mm. So, man, yeah. they kind of, I say, jumped the gun. Now, neither Sony or Microsoft had came out and released an official pricing for this thing. I... Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't seem too far off. Three hundred dollars. Um, people were saying two hundred. I, I don't see that. And you know, and especially if they were selling the Xbox all digital, like you said, it's the sad edition for two hundred fifty dollars. Now this one is supposed. Let me go back here. It's not gonna have a disc drive. It's all digital. It's not a problem. I didn't, actually, I didn't think people would buy the all digital thing for Microsoft, and it ended up becoming their best selling version out of the three SKUs, the, the Xbox All Digital. Uh, but let me go back here. No disc drive, so you don't get, you don't have to get a 4K play right, uh, a Blu-ray player. Now, Sony is offering also two SKUs, I'm hearing, but you know, more or less that the Xbox, I'm sorry, the PlayStation 5 will be $500, and the, the discless version will be $400. You know, uh, but, you know, we shall see. We shall see. You know, everyone's talking. I know Microsoft had the event yesterday with the hot chips. I don't get really too much in the technical spec stuff. That's my man post up job. He, he gets, uh, you know, that's, he loves the, the text and the deep dives on GitHub. Just look, I'm all about graphics. I mean, but again, 1440p. If the games look still next gen, you know, might be on my heels. You never know. She might find one on her tree or my grandson for Christmas. Man, I ain't buying them no Xbox Series X or no PS5. And I don't like to share my stuff, but three hundred dollars, yeah, I might like spring for that, man. But anyway, this is your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Is that good for you? Three hundred dollars entry level, fourteen forty p. My thing is the graphics. I want to see how multiplast looking on this. Will this also do ray tracing? And that's the new thing, ray tracing. You know what I mean? Uh, of course, it's HDR and stuff. But fourteen forty p. Most PC gamers tell me this sweet spot for gaming is 1440p, 60 frames a second. But for the record, I think every game, or at least give us the option to, especially going into next generation, games should be 60 frames a second. Especially if we're, uh, what the Microsoft says, four times the memory bandwidth and also NCP for power of, of the Xbox One X. But they have to stop all that cross-gen development. You know what I mean? Both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X are very powerful consoles. You know what I mean? You really can't compare them to a a, a, um, a, a graphics card because even you know, a PC is an open environment and a console is a closed environment. Basically, what I'm saying, you know, just because you have a 2080 Ti, oh, that's not allocated for gaming. You got a bunch of other stuff in the background running, Windows and other stuff. But here in the console, everything within that box is basically made to play games. And developers know what's in each and every set box, so they're able to go closer to the metal and, you know, get all the juice out of the console. But anyway, this is your boy, Next Gen 720. Let me know what you think down below. Which one would you buy? You know what I mean? Day one, I'm if, fortunate enough, I'm getting the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Why? I want more beast. To melt, man. you know what I mean. You know I'm rocking, but this is your boy next to summer twenty. I'm out of here. Eyes.